Hi, if you're watching this, that means that you are probably asking how to squash a commit inside of the repository uh, or a Git repository in general. Uh, this is how I do it, and I do it through the command line. Uh, hopefully, this will give you some direction uh, going forward, and um, we'll work from there. So let's take a look here. So if I go ahead and go over here to this repository called Taxonomy, um, if you're coming from the Instruct Lab project, uh, this probably should be very familiar to you. If I go to Git status here, you'll notice that I have some untracked files. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and add these to the repository, and then I'm going to do um, I'm going to go to the README and type in JJ is awesome down here at the bottom. Git add period Git commit. Um, I'm going to be bad just because we're doing some uh, or actually no, what we're going to do is get check out HP JJ. Uh, Squash. So now I'm on this one. So I'm going to do git add again. Git commit. Commit to this branch of I'm adding a commit. There we go. So I added this to this new branch. And then what I'll do is I'll do, uh, I'll go back to readme here and then do JJ is even more awesome. Just so I have some commits inside the repository. And then I'm adding a Second commit. Okay. Oops. Git add. Ah. Add. Okay. Second commit. There we go. So if I go do git diff main, we should see our commits, which are exactly what we we're expecting to. We have this one file, and then we have these two commits that I put there. If I do git log, um, git log, there we go. We have this, this, and this. So if we came along and we were told to squash this commit down because now it's all working great, we do git rebase dash i main. What does this mean? This means it takes whatever's on main and then moves it to the, uh, that all these commits now are on top of that. So if I go here and, and click on this, you'll see that we have two commits here. I need to rebase the second commit into the first one. The easiest way to do it is do S here for squash, and then the pick here is the actual commit I'm squashing into. I'm literally pushing it up into that commit. So then when I do right quit to get out of it, it squashes it, and you'll notice here you now can combine the, um, uh, the commit messages. So if you have, for instance, um, if you had signed off by JJ Asgar, awesome, IBM.com. And then we had a co-authored by uh, Jane Doe, Jane at example.com. This is where you would change those types of information. It's just a commit message. So when you squash it in, it brings in more options to do it. Uh, so you can take all of the uh, co-authored by, the signed off by, all that to make it happen. Obviously, I didn't have a signed off by by the original one because I was lazy, but you get the point. It allows you to just do that. So then what if I do right quit? Now I fully rebased it. So if I do get log here, you'll see now that that two commits were squashed into one, and I have added by hand the co-authored and signed off by. Uh, it depends on your project that you're working on, but it works that way. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Hopefully that makes some sense to you, and it'll. This is how you squash down a commit really easily. If uh, you've got a branch, long-running branch, you just do git rebase dash i main or whatever the main branch is, and then it gives you a bunch of options to pick. All you got to do is squash the s all the way up into the top one, and then you change your commit message around, and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to find me through the different uh, aspects. Uh, or email me at awesome at ibm.com. That really is my email address. Uh, all right, take it easy, y'all.